first little episode of Cripplin D. I am here with uh, with the, with the buddy here. Um, he's pretty um, knowledgeable and fun inside of CC. So let's have him here. Hi, how you doing, JPT? How you doing? Hello, I'm all good. Enjoying all some right. CC and the final part of it. Yeah, the final part, the final two weeks since my dumbass thought it was one, but. We're going to be going over Emma Frost's defense pretty quick, and the choices between which room we think is probably the worst, and he should change it along with chat, because chat wants to get involved and get some points. But his first room here, Spider Society, how you feeling about it? I mean, especially because of the ISO choices as well, um, Noir being a skirmisher, because he generally always goes uh, straight away because of the buffs that people spawn in on. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's it's a decent room. Like it's it's a team that um, can be easily countered, like the full five. Um, but also it's a team that can catch a lot of people as well. So I've got no real issues with this team. I think it's pretty good. I li I like Spider Society, but it, you are right. It is pretty much countered with the full SD. They they if they if they can take the initial barrage from Peter, they can take the initial barrage yep. from Peter and Noir. Boom, you're good to go. If not, they sneak up, and then uh, Peter is just like a... Pfft, he's a pain in the ass, because he just heals stupidly crazy. But I'm fine with this room. You're good to go, man. Uh, 2.7 million is not bad. Uh, you probably should G19, uh, Pav, and Peter. You can leave... What's it called? You can leave Ghost Spider where they're at. Yeah. But get a bigger Peter, if you can. Get a bigger Peter. So, he's in the spotlight. Raid orbs at the moment, so any, yep. so open those. Oh, these fun guys, extreme dorm. They are still being a pain. Um, I like the nightcrawler. Nightcrawler looks I think fun. This is yeah, like because the problem is like nightcrawler is used a lot with Logan, but then Logan. It's, it's hard to say because Logan's team can be quite easily countered, but also Nightcrawler can cause an issue in that. But then uh, using Nightcrawler a team like this, it, it, it's, it's a tough one, really. Right? But um, I think recently a new council with uh, Alpha, Alpha Force. Is Alpha Force Flight. their name? Yeah, Alpha Flight. Alpha Flight, that's it. Alpha Flight. Yeah, Alpha Flight. Um, they can they can counter this pretty easily, especially with Dawn there as well. So that might be a waste of a Nightcrawler. Um, but and also being in room two, I would probably say it's a bit of a waste as well. That you can put harder teams in this room, and that will cause a lot more of an issue. Yeah, I've seen it where uh, Gambit probably is probably even better than Cyclops. They put it should have kept them there, but. Yeah, this is this is like MOE food, so try to even push. I mean, even in it doesn't really matter about the room placement, um, but it's MOE could pretty much knock it out. And Cyclops doesn't really do as much. We thought he was going to be great, and he's really not. So Cyclops yeah. is the one to drop. So get rid of that fool. Get rid of that. He's um, had his moment, but I mean, generally he he do, he doesn't do anything. But when he does, yeah, he, he can. But overall, he's, he's not really that amazing mm -hmm. <laughs> this fun one okay this i don't okay look i know you're trying to do i i know you're you're fun with it you got a nice red guardian you got him ready for the movie for thunderbolts um i want to say this is bad but then again when i see that yelena actually helps him win I can't really say it's bad because he shows victory. So it really gets me going, damn it. I want to say it's bad. And the fact that he's got Wolverine away from them, I think you should move him right behind Red Guardian. So that way they, they potentially might hit him going into Red Guardian and then speeds his happy ass up. Mm. I think that I see this as two ways because People will see Old Man Logan and they're just like, I don't care what the comp is. I'm just going to throw a big team at it and beat it. So in some regard, using Red Guardian, Yelena, and Black Widow and a Tiny Panda is actually 
good because that's just four shit characters that uh, aren't going to be used anyway. But if people underestimate this this room, then they're, they're going to lose. So I overall don't have a, a massive issue with this. And I used to, a few seasons ago, use the comp of Black Widow, Red Guardian, and uh, Killmonger because he was another skill military character. Um, and who, who, can... who is that? Kill, kill who? Who is that? Kill <laughs> Yep. Who is that guy? He he was my first ever seven red, and I always took him up to max everything just because he was my first ever seven mm. red character. And at things okay. like, near the start of CC, he was actually a big a big threat. Like his his ult was a was a a nuke. But um, yeah, it worked. It did work for the whole speed mechanic side. But yeah, I don't think this is a terrible room, quite honestly. I, yeah, I don't. I, I don't think it's bad. I know. I know his investment in Yelena. He he loves Yelena. Three diamond is ridiculous that he got on her. And if it works in this for the skill military, go ahead. It, it's working for him. I have seen that he has got some victories with Yelena. So as much as I want to say change it keep it it's fine yeah. it's fine with it yeah, yeah. it's it it, it 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 just you look at it and you go why why but then mm. you're like well okay i understand why i understand why you're doing it um all right room four black knight got a uh, gambit and rogue caps over there just being and being being a pain and x23 so, uh, yes, it's. It, it, I would agree. It's Illuminati bait. You want to try to go after them because everybody's only doing their special. Unless Cap tends to do his special and then give people energy to start going. So, um, it's, and the thing is as well, like, I, this is when I'm going to do my defense. Um, there's a couple of turns I want to make. And I think, actually, uh, Black Knight, in room four is uh if you get the right comp it's a real nuisance so um having black knight in this room i do actually i do actually respect it yeah he's a he, he's a pain when you can't use your ults to try to beat him because you're like i want to do as much damage i want to go ahead and go after him and then he's just sitting over there like bah here you go bah here you go and it's it's I, I i see what it is you want to draw illuminati you could draw cabal here as well but still black knight's yep. gonna mess you up if they're not if they can't take a hit so i uh, understand why I you did like, it drawing cabal or illuminati the two you know best teams in the in cc it's not bad so yeah i do so i do like black knight in this room it is a good one all right, room five. Um, hold on, let me let me move that over so you see it. See it correctly. Boom. Boom. Right. Okay. Well, here we go. All right, this room here. Um, I don't know what you're doing. No. <laughs> I'm I'm what oblivious to what shopping? you're doing. I don't know what's happening here, um, but this team could and get this team could get Rick rolled. Rick can rolled get fast. Destroyed. Yeah. And including the Sasquatch, it's uh, uh, there's so three characters in this uh, team that do get use a lot outside their team. So like North Star for Dorm Comps, Guardian for um, a fifth for New Warriors. Or any other team that you know needs some offense up, and then Sasquatch for a great taunter. So to keep uh, anyone like keep any characters protected behind his taunt. Yeah, so this to me this is, is just no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it's here, but hey, if you're gonna use it, has it gotten a win? That's what I'm looking at. If it's got a win, great. If not, I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't keep it. All right, these buddies here, Annihilators, Sus, and 
Mm. Boyd Knight. Um, I, I like this like... team. Mm. Mm-hmm. But Void Knight, I don't know. Yeah, I don't Take know about Void Knight. Um, I, I am jealous as hell that he's got a three diamond ultimus. He's got a three diamond ultimus. This is really, it's hurting my soul that he's got a bigger ultimus. But I think those three will have some fun with it. Void Knight might do something. He's not he's not tiny or anything. Uh, Guardian at three three can take hits. This guy could take a take a pummeling, and he's still pretty damn good. And if for any reason the other team goes first, and these guys can actually take a turn, I think that I think it'll be a little scary. I think it will if they finally well, get to um, take a turn. I. So yeah, the the team itself is so the free the free piece uh, annihilators are really good together because of the passives uh, from Gladiator, which prevents vulnerables being uh, applied to the team. And I mean, I can I can kind of say, but I had a, a similar comp for this in my last round of CC and Cabal. Three different comps of Cabal couldn't couldn't scratch it, mm. so it, it's it is very good. Um, but like I said, to me, Void Knight is where it's the, I don't see why he's in it. Yeah, I don't see why he's there. Um, but it, it, if he's one of the bigger ones, it's great. It's Illuminati bait. Well, if it if it draws it and then they try to take Cabal into the other one, they'll mess you up. I I, I particularly like the Annihilators. They're they're just it takes a lot to get through gladiator and then if ultimus and surfer go off they can be a problem they really can't because surfer just speeds up so and he's ridiculously great i I love the way he's got the strongest uh resistance he's got the highest freaking uh focus so something bad's gonna happen here um but uh if we come down to it which was the pick of the week or, or, or this video of what the room is you probably should change. Um, I'll show it here. I don't know if it's going to show correctly, but... Let's see. Click. Oh, it's not going to show that. Fuckers. Let me show this. This, 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 this. Pink. Here we go. Ah, you motherfucker. Nope. Well, because it showed the uh, it showed the it showed what it showed what we were talking about. I'm trying to show the chat what it is. So that way they know which one. Click. So me and JPT both is. picked room five. I'm gonna I'll make a scene for it so where it shows right. But we both chose room five. I don't know what the fuck you're doing with this. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know what you're doing with room five. Room five is is hurting my soul. Yep. It's just it it's there. Um This one could get beaten easily. Uh especially you you could you could mess up the eternals here with with that. You bring in Emma, you bring in Cable, uh even Loki, get Cersei to go. Boom, but it's just like I don't know what what this is. This looks like a free room. A free room to come in and be like, da. So, um, so anybody in chat that did bet room five, this is the room that me and JPT picked for it. It was we just don't know what's going on. <laughs> we just don't know what's going on here. But either way, you got some solid defensive rooms here that could draw Illuminati and Cabal, which will make them mess up. So I see how you win with it. Um, I do understand that you love your girl Yelena. Um, Yelena is. If she does, if she if she does what she does there, and she has some fun, I could see you winning a lot. That's great. Win, 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 win. Chicken dinner, you know, whatever. But it is what it is, man. But Crippling D with ZKG, basically just come on down to it. Put it in. Di- I'll put the Discord in the description. Throw it inside the channel that does say Crippling D with ZKG and uh, JPT. Um, if you had to rate all of his rooms as a as a whole. Let's go with uh, let's go with um, I don't know. One, what what do we say? Like uh, go with like let's go with stars. 
One, uh, better yet, one out of three diamonds. One to three. What would you give it one overall? Um, <laughs> that's just only three. Can I go one and a half? <laughs> there you go. I, I give it a side. I, I give it like a two and a half. I'm just really iffy about that fucking. This room right here is making me just go, why? Why? Yeah, five. Five is a big. It's like I said. To me, five is three characters in there that can get great use elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you move starters. those characters around other, they can mess some other teams up offensively and defensively. Same thing with what's his face. You could probably leave the one you could leave is Squatch. Squatch is fine on defense. The other two, you could probably use them on offense somewhere. So, yeah. but we're seeing 69s in the chat. I don't know about 69 diamonds but it's not bad and i could see relatively why he's getting wins where he's at so but yeah it is what it is but remember like share subscribe let us know see you on the next one